Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we are going to be answering a survey that has been set out by the Don Machi Battle Chronicle team in regards to future characters in the game. Of course, this is something that we've been complaining about quite a bit over the last few months. And of course, we are going to continue to complain unless they change things. Now, of course, before we get into discussing this entire Entire topic and talking about why this is a big issue and why I'm glad that they're actually setting up a survey in order to get our feelings and our thoughts in regards to this topic please be sure to leave a like down below of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know your guys' thoughts on the current situation in regards to characters in Danmachi Battle Chronicle of course I want to talk a little bit about why I believe characters is a big problem in Danmachi Battle Chronicle at this point in time and of course I've made a video actually before this in regards to the big situation and the big problem that Danmachi Battle Chronicle has in regards to characters so let me know your guys' thoughts as well in the comments section down below now to give you guys a bit of a tldr and give you guys an idea on why i think it's a big problem in danmachi battle chronicle right now the problem is right is that we have too many of the same characters releasing again and again and again and we are not getting new characters and we're not getting general pool characters the only time we got general pool characters was at the start of the game when we got Haruhime, Eyes, and the support Lafia, and then when we got Otaro, Freya, Asfi, and Ryu a couple of months ago. Outside of that, they've been strictly limited units. Now, to be quite honest, I understand from obviously the summer to Halloween to, of course, Christmas, I understood those being limited. Don't get me wrong, that was absolutely fine for me, even though obviously in the early days with the whole uh, I, uh, Selah's income and everything, it was a struggle to get these characters, but still. I understood it because it makes sense for seasonal units to be time limited, right? But outside of that, it's been a big, big, big problem that, uh, that you know, we're not getting general pool characters. And especially because certain elements are suffering because of it. Blue, if you haven't summoned for any of the limited units, you are struggling for blue characters. Because the only you are blue attacking unit and arguably speed unit or in a way as well is Tiona. Th there's no other option there to be quite honest. Any form of DPS or sub DPS, it's Tiona. That's literally all you've got. Because the other option is Cassandra who's a support unit. Not great, right? Not great at all. And then if you look on the other side as well with the release of Artemis. Artemis is a limited unit as well and she's purple. Purple is also a big, big, big problem right now in the game if you don't have any of the limited units. If you look at the very hard stage that they've released for this uh, current story that they've added for Arrow of Orion, it is a struggle to beat it with all purple units. I've tried. I leveled up every single character that is purple and non-time limited to level 70, including an SSR and Finn. Like... I would never have done that. I'm very stingy. Some of you guys who watch my live streams know I'm a very stingy person when it comes to my resources. But I, I wanted to do it so that I could show people that it was possible. And to be quite honest, it might just be possible. But you need limit breaks and you need skill levels. Uh, li by limit breaks, I mean awakenings and skill levels. It's not good at all. So... Obviously, having more non-time limited units would definitely be handy. But, of course, more so than that as well, I feel like is a... And what is a bigger issue to me, personally, in my opinion, I think this is a bigger issue. Of course, the limited characters is definitely an issue. But I feel like... As people go on to summon over time, you'll collect it. It's just that immediately it becomes a big problem because you can't get them from the regular gacha, you know. And as a result, people are going to be, you know, waiting patiently, slowly. And of course, when the anniversaries come around, it's only going to be one element most likely that people will be getting. And if it's green again, for example, if the anniversary unit is green, everybody's going to cause a big, big, big big problem because the best element in the game right now in terms of non-time limited units is green so uh, it, it surely surely they can't fuck it up and make the half anniversary or even the anniversary units green because that those are the two characters people will 100% go for it's outside of that that you have to you know either make it them non-time limited or actually just correctly do the color uh, color releases you know, while realizing where the problems lie in your game. I think that is the big thing that they need to keep an eye out for. But like I said, a big problem in Danmachi Battle Chronicle, to me personally, has been this whole notion 
of, uh, you know, the lack of new characters. There are so many non-represented characters in Danmachi Battle Chronicle right now. It is crazy. Instead of getting our fourth or fifth Lefias, instead of getting our fourth or fifth Riverias or Isis or even anybody else, to be quite honest, Haruhime, whoever it may be, let's start getting some new characters, please, for the love of God, or at least give some proper representation to characters that haven't even gotten a new costume or a UR, Bet, Wealth, Bell just recently got his first costume, which is a big shock, I know, it's crazy. I mean, you probably get one more now as well, in quick succession with the Orion movie, of course, right? But still, Bell got his first one recently as well, but Bell would be amazing as well. We need one for, you, you know, uh, there are so many other characters as well that, you know, go underrepresented. Tiona, Tiona don't have a new outfit either. So, these characters haven't gotten a new outfit or a new costume but then on the other side you are missing so many popular and very prominent characters in the Danmachi franchise. Ena, how is she not in the game yet? How is Ahmed not in the game yet? How is Anya, Louis, Lunora and Chloe not in the game yet? Naza, like come on there are so many of these characters that should be in the game but aren't. Of course I know that some characters can't make an appearance just yet the likes of the Freya familiar members, the likes of the Xenoses, the likes of, of course, some of the Loki familiar members like Raul and stuff until they're shown off in their own respective stories. It's understandable as to why they are not in the game yet. But there are characters who are in the main series who are quite heavily linked in and intertwined with Bell and his familiar why are they not in the game yet? I don't know. I don't understand it. So we're going to have to wait and see, of course, what they do with this survey because this survey is extremely important in my personal opinion. I, it is in the official Discord, by the way. For some reason, they removed it from the news section in the English version. Obviously, they had an English post set up as well, but I don't know why they removed it. I, I wonder if there was some mistake there and they're going to remake it tomorrow morning and, uh, you know, share it with us. But the news is also still in Japan, uh, Japan section, the uh, Japanese uh, channels, of course, right? And I'm going to quickly uh, just uh, translate it and uh, let you guys know exactly uh, what we're dealing with here. Thank you for all, all for using the official Don Crow Discord. Today we will be conducting a survey about the characters in the game. The survey consists of only three questions and will take less than a minute to complete. So please take a, a minute to answer. Um, the period is from today, 18th of January, to the 24th of January. So one week only. And I assume this is them trying to prepare for what is to come after the half anniversary. Is my guess, in my personal opinion. Um, it's one vote per uh, person per question. Three questions in total. You can't game the system unless you have multiple discord accounts i don't think it's possible for you to uh, you know make multiple uh, answers there but if you want you could make multiple accounts that's up to you guys to make that decision um also another thing that they mentioned if i recall correctly in the english version is that the uh, answers will not be publicized um in the sense of they won't be um shown off to people like what the uh, overall thoughts are of everybody right i don't think they're gonna show off also like uh you know this uh nobody will know it's all completely anonymous anonymous your votes of course you guys will know my votes of course right so you guys can let me know what uh you guys are gonna vote for as well but yeah i mean i i think it's gonna be pretty straightforward i wish it was public uh, uh the results were released maybe in a live stream or something or at least on a you know sort of like survey results because i feel like it would be good to know what everybody is wanting to see and especially on the jp side it would be great to see what the jp players think what the en players think what the korean players think and what the taiwanese players think because those are the four uh communities that are in this discord so i think it would make a lot of sense for them to do something with that information and actually show it to us and you know that way, you know, we know that their decision is based on what we, at the end, voted for at, at the end of the day, right? So, I think it would make much more sense for them to publicize it, but it is what it is. Anyways, let's take a look at the uh, questions and let's answer the survey. What do you expect or hope to see from the upcoming adventure characters in Don Crow? So, answer one is strong battle performance. Uh, answer two is new oper uh, operability. Number three is new original costumes. And number four is characters who have not appeared as adventures. Now, I'm going to go in order of importance here, in my personal opinion. This is my um, personal thought process and what I would like to see. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think is the most important to the least important. And this is my opinion. You guys can, of course, decide on your own accord what is important for you. 
For me, characters who have not appeared at, uh, uh, yet appeared as adventurers is top priority. We need to get more general pool characters. And of course, releasing the characters for the very first time will hopefully put them in the general pool. Artemis aside, of course. Artemis was, I feel like, a little bit of a... Um, not necessarily throwaway, but I, I don't understand why they didn't make her non-time limited. I... I I, I don't understand, but I expected it, is what I mean to say, more so than anything else. I feel like Artemis could have easily been a non-time limited unit, but it is what it is. Um, but characters who have not yet appeared as adventures, specifically non-time limited characters, should make their appearance as adventures. Then I would say new operability. I would love to see new mechanics always. I'm always a fan of seeing how they can innovate and push the boat when it comes to certain mechanics. I mean, of course, they've been doing that consistently. I feel like with every unit, there's been a new form of uh, using certain units, right? With uh, Christmas Eyes, it was all about using the special to enhance her uh, first and second skills. With Bell, it was all about using his first skill, uh, you know, stacking up Realis and then obviously launching that amazing special move of course right and in the case of Artemis you have that double charge on her first skill as well right and you want to be above a certain amount of HP so in that regards I think new operability would always be fascinating and very exciting to me I think uh, uh, number three would be strong battle performances uh mm, no, I'd say new original costumes and then strong battle performances. As much as I don't want new original costumes for the time being until we get the characters who have not yet appeared as adventurers or at least, uh, you know, give uh, characters who have not gotten URs, URs, looking at you, Wealth. Um, I think original costumes is still very important and I think that will be number three for me. So it'll go from uh, non-appeared uh, characters yet, so four two, three, one is my order of from most important to least important. I am going to vote for number four, though. I am going to vote for number four. Uh, let's see what that is. Uh, okay, that is my uh, vote. Only I can see this. Thank you. Um, that actually helps a lot because you can see what you've answered, basically, and what you voted for. All right. What do you expect to ho or hope to see from the uh, upcoming assist characters in Dawn Crow? Same answers, but of course, I, uh, it's going to be the same order from most important to least important. Number three is the most important. I need to see new characters who have not appeared as assist characters. Um, you know, I would love to see potentially the likes of... Uh, Obviously, I, I mean, Mia as an assist would be very cool. Obviously, I mentioned, uh, you know, Anya, Lunor, and Chloe. I think Mia as an assist, at least for the time being, until, you know, we get to later seasons and later later uh, 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 sort of like storylines. Of course, Sword of Rotoria 12, if we ever get to that point, of course, in this game, the likes of, of course... Um, even uh, past stories like Australia Record and stuff would be kind of interesting to see exactly uh, how Mia would be represented there in the form of, of course, an adventure. But of course, for now, she can appear as an assist and it would be absolutely very exciting. Goibinu, we haven't gotten Goibinu in the game yet. Um, so, love, would love to see more assists. Would love to see more assists who have not appeared as assist characters. Then original costumes and then strong battle performance. So, 3, 2, 1 is the way I would personally go. So that would be uh, the most important thing. Now, let's take a look at the final question. This is going to be the final thing of the survey. What kind of character do you like the most? A character who can do everything on their own, a character who's interesting or exciting to operate, a character who's strong in auto combat, and a slightly quirky character who specializes in something. I think the second one more so than anything else. I think the number one is probably the one that... I think most people will want to go for but um i mean at that point you know we it'll just be power creep over power creep so i think in order to be a little bit different and also to make things a little bit more balanced in the grand scheme of things just going for something interesting or exciting to operate will be a priority for me personally purely because i think it'll obviously keep the power curve a little bit lower because every time a character does something unique it can either be good or a bad way of going about it right so there's no guarantee that the unit might be good and not only that depending on how quirky or interesting he is or they are i should say um they could be good in certain game modes but not good in other game modes or vice versa as well right they might be good in the other game modes but not good in the game modes that another character might be good in so i think that would make it very, way more interesting and at least keep things a little bit more balanced in my opinion but yeah um that's my personal opinion i think i would go two four Three one more so than anything else, I would say. Two four three one would be my uh, mo, I would say. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Of course, this, these are my votes. You guys can let me know what you guys voted for. At the end of the day, I think everybody has their own opinion on what needs to be done in the game. Um, like I said, I wish there was one more option in the. Um, I wish there was one more option in the questions in regards to non-time limited characters. I think that's way more priority than anything else, and I wish they would 
take the feedback. Maybe if they watch this video, maybe they can listen in on that point. And I think that is priority right now. I think more non-time limited characters over the next couple of months is uh, way more important in my personal opinion. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, of course. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys agree or disagree? I'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.